there are four ways one can solve an equilibrium question. So method one is the square root one, the second one is the small k approximation, that is for all those where the k value is less than 10 to the power of negative 4. And method three is the large k approximation where the k value is greater than 10 to the power of 4. And uh, all those values in between negative 4 and 4, there is no other way you have to use only the quadratic equation. Let's do the square root method first. Consider the reaction given below. It was started with 0 0.50 molar A and 0 0.50 molar B. Calculate the equilibrium concentrations of C. Kc is given. This is uh, this doesn't come under the small k or the large k approximation because the value of k is 10 to the power of negative 2. So the reaction given is A plus B giving you Tc, 2C. Construct the I stable and then uh, when you set up the equation, you realize that k is equal to 1.82 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 2x raised to the power of 2, 0 0.50 minus x, 0 0.50 minus x. So if you look at it carefully, you can see that if I take square root on both sides, I can easily solve it. Don't immediately start applying a quadratic equation. Observe the numbers over there. And this is the best example for taking square root on both sides. So when I take square root on both sides, I can, um, the whole solution is given to you. The value of x can be calculated. They have asked for the value of c. Value of c is twice the value of x. We will do uh, method 2, the small k approximation. When I say small k, it means the k is less than or equal to 10 to the power of negative 4. The reaction given below was started with 0 0.60 molar A and 0.75 molar B. Calculate the equilibrium concentrations of C. Kc is given and when you look at the value of Kc, it's 10 to the power of negative 8. Therefore, it is much lesser than 10 to the power of negative 4. And the reaction is given, set up the ice table. And when you set up the ice table and substitute the values into it, I get 1.25 times 10 to the power of negative 8 is equal to 2x to the power of 2 divided by 0 0.60 minus x times 0 0.75 minus 2x. Now, what I mean by small k is the value of k is 10 to the power of negative 8. That means the reaction will hardly go towards the product. Or in other words, x is very small. That's the reason the, the ratio is very small. The equilibrium constant is very small. And hence, I can make an approximation that 0 0.60 minus x is almost equal to 0 0.60 and 0 0.75 minus 2x is almost equal to 0 0.75. So this makes our life easier and uh, solving this equation also becomes easier. And when I solve for x, I don't have a quadratic equation here. It's much just a simple x square equation. And I get the value of x. And the concentration of C will be twice the value of X. Let's do the method 3, the large K method. And in this case, K is uh, much larger than 10 to the power of 4. The reaction given below was started with 0 0.80 molar A and 0 0.30 molar B. Calculate the equilibrium concentrations of C. And KC is given. So if you look at the values of Kc, 1.42 to 10 to the power of 8, that means it's a pretty large value. So what I actually mean by that is, the reaction proceeds more towards the product, so we will hardly have any reactant. So the reaction given 2A plus B giving you C. Now set up the ice table, the concentrations are given. After you set up the ice table, in order to do this large K, we follow certain steps. The first one is find out the limiting agent. And the limiting agent is B. So that means all the B will get consumed uh, because the value of K is like very large. And therefore, um, whatever B gets consumed is what C gets formed as. Or in other words, the value of X is equal to 0 0.30 molar. And the concentration of C is equal to 0 0.30 molar. And uh, the amount of A left over can be obtained from the stoichiometry of the equation. Uh, the ratio is 2 is to 1. Therefore, if 0 0.30 moles of B gets consumed, 0 0.60 of A should have got consumed with, uh, with an amount of A left over as 0 0.20. So, at this moment, since we have assumed that the reaction proceeds totally to the right-hand side, 
the concentration of A is 0 0.20, concentration of B is 0, and concentration of C is 0 0.30 molar. We'll proceed now to the next step and see how we can get the equilibrium concentrations of C. Now the step 5 is, the whatever we did in step 4, reverse the equation. That means the value of k, the new k will be 1 over kc and that's calculated as 7.04 10 to the power of 9. And then use the ice, reverse the equation, use the ice concept. And uh, when I reverse the equation, it becomes c giving you 2a plus b. When I use the ice constant and set up the equation, you see that the starting concentration of c is 0 0.30 and that of a is 0 0.20 and b is 0. Just for your reference, uh, what we got in the previous slide is also given there. So, uh, the change in concentrations are represented and uh, substituted into the equilibrium equation. And uh, if you look at the value of k, now it is a small k. So, I can do a small k approximation. I can assume that 0 0.30 is much larger than x and uh, x is much smaller than 0 0.20. And applying that concept, the value of x is calculated to be 5.28 into the power of negative 8, which is quite obvious, a very low value, and therefore the equilibrium concentration of C is almost equal to what we calculated before, point, that is equal to 0 0.30 molar. This is uh, our method 4. It's using the quadratic equation. There is no shortcut. This is usually apply, applied to all those values of k which is in between 10 to the power of 4 and 10 to the power of negative 4. And uh, the, the question given is the action, uh, the in initial concentrations of A and B are given. And they are asking you to the calculate the concentration of C. Kc is given. And Kc is in between 10 to the power of 4 and 10 to the power of negative 4. Same way, the equation set up the ice box. Ice table is set up there. And then uh, substituted into the equilibrium equation and uh, we have to use the quadratic equation to solve the value of x and x comes as 8.29 to the power of negative 2 and since this is the value of x the value of c will be twice this and the value of a will be 0.35 minus the value of x and point, uh, concentration of b will be uh, 0.85 minus the value of x will be 